Right, I've done um, a video, quite popular one, about the flood defence system because uh, it's been raining a lot and it's been working well. So that's good. Um, and I've done a video about the market, which is on Saturday, which is today. And uh, so I thought I'd just try and do a video about how wonderful Nuneaton is, why I like it. I just had to think about it. Yeah, it's a nice town, it's a nice size, it's a nice place. And people knock uh, the, the town that they live in. They always do. You look on social media for local places and they're always knocking it. And I think, well, no, it's quite nice. Let's think on the positive side and let's see what we can see. going until my camera falls over. Oh, it gets, there it goes. Well, the first thing is to get the paper. From Sainsbury's. One of the good things about Nuneaton, it's got some very good supermarkets when I first came here about 30 years ago or more only about one or two but this one is excellent And uh, apparently, she said she'll see me later. I didn't know I was going to see her later. I saw her once, so very nice. I mean, have a good day, fair enough, but see you later. Okay. Maybe, maybe not. Um, somebody was saying that these uh, walking videos, <laughs> no drone, no music, just me walking around talking to the camera, um, they sort of quite like. So, I thought I'd try the same. I said before, people always seem to knock the town that they're in. Um, and if I take some nice shots like this, it's, it's all rather pleasant. This is a pond next to the River Anchor, which goes through the middle of town. And uh, really nice, quite nice things to be seen. This is the... Um, Museum and Art Gallery. What's that? Have you exhibited there? Yes. Paintings and photographs. And the park is over here, of course, which is very pleasant. Um, which way shall I go? Let me go this way. Whoa. Morning. Morning. Well, unusually, it is a nice bright morning. It's cold, it's about 2.5 degrees, uh, but it's pleasant. It's not actually freezing at the moment. It has been freezing overnight. And uh, yeah, this is the tail end of the park in the middle of town and the river running through. The river seems to be behaving itself at the moment um, because the flood defense system of which my latest popular video actually it's got 2,000 views um, yeah it's done its job and it doesn't flood in town because we had one or two really desperate storms come through right I'm now going under the road to head into the middle of town just walking across uh, the George Elliot Gardens George, as you may or may not know, was not her real name. It's Mary Ann Evans, famous 19th century authoress. And this you can see is the uh, monument to her. As you go around, you can see Mary Ann Evans, born South Farm Arbury, 1819. And those who may or may not know, also, 
I'm not sure whether this building is going to be pulled down, but there's a lot of development going on here. Um, let's hope they leave that tree alone, because that's the one that the Baha'i community planted about 40 years ago. This is the back of the council house, town hall, checkered history, our council really, various things, uh, because in fact, on this side, there's another building which mirrored the town hall itself. This one over here. And then with the cuts, they suddenly didn't need it anymore. There we go. Welcome to uh, George Elliott Gardens. So I'm now walking uh, around the back of the town hall to get into the middle of town. And I've got a bit of time to go and have a chat with a few people. Well, I'm not going to put, point out the scruffy areas in town, but I'm just going to go around the corner, the front of the town hall here, and show you this seat. We've got one or two really nice buildings here. Look at this. That's the United Reformed Church. And there is the old police station, which is now for sale and to let. It used to be a bank as well. I want to show you this. It's presented by the Rotary Club, supported by George Eliot Fellowship. And you can see in it, there's the face of George Eliot. And it's like a book opening. And there's a pen going across. So that's a seat specially made to commemorate George Eliot. Well, I won't be able to show you everything there is to see in the Neaton, but um, just wondering, uh, and of course, this is the old famous toolbox. Because the high street is evolving into something new and um, we've got a lot of barbers. Uh, but look, there's one. We've got about four or five of these in town, but the toolbox I mean, all these bits and pieces it's quite interesting um, because there's not many shops like that still surviving. Anyway, let's wander into the middle of town. Mickey, come on in. Happy New Year. You okay? Yes. Okay, okay, okay. How you doing? Where's your queue? Where's your big queue? Oh, we've done it this morning. We've done a bit this morning. How are you? Well, I'm not going to make this everything about the market because I've done that before. So let me just take a wander down here and around the corner. I'm determined to keep this video positive but this vape shop has got reflected in its window look the coral betting shop opposite and it's next door to a casino slot machine but i'll say something about these on another occasion here i'm looking northwest where the old co-op building has been demolished and there's a new hotel new college center and the grayson leisure center whatever that's going to be sounds good this is Rosemary Rickard and her son, Walter, the only two of them here today. They run a market stall and also a haulier and growers business out at Congerston. And delightful people they are too. In fact, I've known this family for nearly 40 years. And that sign which says homegrown, I must have painted it for them maybe 15 years ago. I've done a thing about the market before now, but I'm, so many people seem to knock in the neat end. They do. They do. And it's, and it's everybody likes right. to knock their own hometown, I've found out. But, it's not um, right, John. No. So, what's good about Nuneaton then? Well, you've got a lot of shops. Yeah. Now, you've got, you've got Poundland for the cheaper people. Yeah. You've got Jewelers. Yeah. Sam Yours, That's true. Jewelers. Yeah. yeah. You've got um, cafes galore. <laughs> you can stand here, no kid, John. Yeah. And you could, I can stand and eat in 22 places. 22. For, from here, yeah. from the time, to there, yeah. to sushi from Boots, Oof. 
You've got Boots of Chemist with the six shoes in that. Yeah. And You've got dresses and, and barbers. Barbers? How many barbers are there? I don't say Turkish barbers. Men, men like to smart themselves. Yeah. No they must survive. They must do business because they're still there. And nails. Women like to yeah. do nails. Yeah, yeah. In actual fact, Nuneaton's got a lot to offer. Yeah. So what's good about Nuneaton? I'm going to try to be positive about Nuneaton. You're asking me the question? Yeah. What's positive about Nuneaton? Yeah. Have you got an answer? Yes. Go on. I think it's a very community-fied town. People Good. all look out for each other. And I think the market's fantastic where you've got a market in the town yeah. combining with the shops and you've got a few independents. I know we've got people moan about the barber shops, but they're all busy. They are. So you can't knock them. They're all in business, aren't they? And the other thing is, like this barber shop opening here. The O2 one. Yeah. He's put a serious investment in there. Sure. So he ain't doing it for no reason. They're not going to do it. They're not, they're not daft. No. no. I think it's a lovely town. Mm, yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Have a good day. Fantastic town. Let's be positive. Too much doom and gloom around it. Thank you very much. I'll use that as a quote. <laughs> Ta da. I'll just take a little sniff of this. <laughs> Well, that's a final snapshot. I've run out of time. Oh, when you're doing films, like this and video and stuff, turn around and the time's gone. Okay. Time. Come on and wake up. 10 o'clock. Um. I am, sir. Keep carrying on, mate. Thank you. I'm the YouTube man. Keep carrying on, mate. That's me. <laughs> Another fine aspect of uh, Nuneaton is its multiculturalism. And we have uh, here the Gurkha Memorial, which I pointed out before. And there's a local army camp barracks where the Gurkhas are stationed and there's a, a fair number of Nepalese people who live in Nuneaton anyway, some of whom were not connected with the Gurkhas. But, and of course in Nuneaton we've also got a mosque, uh, two Gurdwaras, uh, that's the Sikhs, a number of churches and uh, and of course the Baha'i community. So there's quite a mixture of types of people. A fair number of Eastern Europeans as well. I think that one of the things I really like, I've just spoken to Alan, somebody I know. I've lived in this uh, town on, on the outskirts for the last 40 years. And it's just people that I know and I can say hello to, which is a really nice thing to do. It's a sense of community. You know, we live, we live here, we like it. We dislike it, we do things for it, that's what it's all about. Right, I'm going to take you over to our shopping mall, that's what it is. And I'm going to have to go past the front of the United Reform Church, which is here. Right, this is the rope walk. And I don't think I'll be able to go inside and film because they don't let you do that sort of thing. But I'm next to the uh, old jailhouse, and this was the actual jailhouse to the police station. Uh, here it is. It's changed hands a few times, and it um, is now a cafe again, restaurant, whatever. Yeah. 
You buy nectarines to pound out. And I have to say that this uh, bottom end of town, everything's empty, look, because this is all getting knocked down and will close in this building here. This is coming down. I think this um, quite old pub building here is going to stay, but I still not decided whether the library is coming down, which is over there, of course. But this Powell house is coming down, all to be demolished, as I pointed out in another video. Improvements are being made even as we speak, or plans for improvements anyway. Here we are. So as I make my way through the George Eliot Gardens again, at the back of the Close, which is a sort of a semi-residential place nice people but another great facility in town actually uh, so yeah then it's got a lot to say for itself as well as now let me finish off here because we've got a hospital we've got a college we've got a number of good schools around a new new one being built as well secondary school that is um, up Heim Lane where I live and it's easy to get, <laughs> there's good connections. So what's good about Nuneaton and its roads? Well, it's good to get out of. You can get away from it quite easily. By which I mean, actually, it's, uh, it's easy to travel around the country because we're right in the Midlands here. So if we need to go to the Lake District, it's only uh, two hours. And to get to the South Coast, two or three hours. So we're in a good position to go in other parts of the country which is good. So it's a good um, motorway network we're in the thick of, which is why there are a lot of logistics firms, you know, warehouses and travel companies. I hope that I'm painting a positive picture of what we've got here. Thank you very much for watching and uh, you'll see me next time. Bye-bye.